we go that's the best I can do for now I've just learned how to play this piece and unfortunately I can't quite emulate John Fahey's amazing touch and tone that's my best effort for now and welcome to this special Christmas lesson I'm a big fan of Christmas and I'm a big fan of Christmas music and John Fahey as well as being a legendary American folk and blues guitarist a pioneer of independent music is also responsible for a lot of great Christmas music and the tune that I just played for you is taken from his album The New Possibility uh, John Fahey's Guitar Solly Christmas album this one right here and it's an album which gets an awful lot of plays round at my house at this time of year so let me take you through how to play this piece and uh, then you'll be able to dazzle your friends and family with a beautiful rendition of it on uh, Christmas Day. So let's get started. Now rather than talk you through every single note in this piece and all of the left and right hand techniques involved which would take ages, what I'm going to do is just give you a rough outline of how it's played and I will direct you to the transcription of it which I'm going to put on my website I'll also put a link underneath this video so if you really want to get into the nitty gritty of how it's done then you can check out the transcription as well first thing we need to do is get in tune and we're in an open C tuning uh, there are a few ways you can tune to an open C chord I think but the one that Fahey uses in this piece I think he uses it in some of his other pieces as well um, it's from low to high we've got a C a G C another G a C and an E so uh, the, the sixth string you're going to need to tune down to C the fifth string you're going to tune down to G the fourth string you're going to tune down to C the third string is going to stay the same as standard tuning, that's a G. Uh, the second string you're going to tune up a semitone to C. And the first string stays the same as standard tuning as well, that's an E. And that gives you a lovely open C chord. So let's look at the introduction to start with, that's the bit that goes like this. got here is a descending melody played with the thumb and then in between those thumb notes we're just playing the uh, open first and second strings the melody um, it starts at the fifth fret on the third string then to the fourth fret second fret open third string and then we're on to the fourth string uh, the fifth fret fourth fret second fret and open fourth string and in between those notes with the I, I play it with my index finger and middle finger I'm just playing the uh, open first and second strings so we get this kind of thing of that open C chord that's the introduction now the main theme most of it is actually played on the first string we've got um, and we just got a note of the second fret on the second string and an open second string that's the basic melody um, at the same time as doing that we've got our steady alternating thumb bass note uh, like in a lot of finger style pieces the thumb is really what holds it all together you've got to keep a very steady thumb rocking back and forth um, during this piece here I'm just playing the sixth string and then the fourth string and you can just put that together with the melody and you've got this on that uh, second fret note on the second string there's a quick chord change we've just got a couple of 
beats on a G chord. Um, and to play that chord I'm playing the 2nd fret on the 4th string with my 2nd finger and the 2nd fret on the 2nd string with my 3rd finger. Actually it looks exactly like an A7 would look in standard tuning but uh, in this open tuning it's actually a G chord sound. Um, so we're just playing that for a couple of beats at the end of this phrase. The thumb is going to be playing the 5th the and the 4th string and then we're straight back to the open C chord. But let me just play that one more time. We've got the melody. Quick change to the uh, G, and then back to the open C. And what Fahey also does is uh, sometimes when playing the melody notes, he's letting uh, the open second string ring as well, a kind of droning note which just reinforces and thickens the melody. So you have this, this kind of effect. Um, and I think it doesn't do that on every single note, but a lot of the, the notes it just, it's just to say, thickens up the melody. It sounds, sounds like this. got a um, little bit of the open uh, third string in there as well on those last two melody notes. Next bit we've got goes like this. Uh, we've got uh, a barred F to G chord change. Um, in this open tuning we can get an F chord just by barring across all of the strings at the fifth fret. Um, move that bar up two frets and you've got a, a G chord. Um, again, similar kind of thing with the right hand. We just got our alternating bass and then adding in some, uh, some melody notes on top. Again, in the transcription, I'll put the exact, uh, exact notes there, but I, th I think it varies a little bit each, each time he, he does that. Uh, then we're back to uh, some melody notes on the high E string. We've got this little descending, descending melody. Again, all played on the, the first string. Sometimes there's that droning open second and third strings as well. Um, and you're just, just going to need to work on getting that melody happening with the, the uh, thumb alternating bass and just getting the coordination together on that. But it's okay. Carries on. Um, just some some more more uh, sort of melody notes on the C chord. We've got to change then to uh, to the the G chord again, like we had before. Um, and this time we're adding in a note at the first fret on the first string that gives you a, a G seven sound I think so we've got this this kind of effect um, and then the, the last bit of, of the verse um, just goes back to our C chord it's got another melody on, on the, the high E string back home to C. Um, then the whole thing is, is, is repeated. At the very end of the song I think we've just got this. Uh, just playing the uh, second, third and fourth strings together and then fifth string and finishing I think on a big strum on, on the C chord. Well that's about it. If you do want some more detail about exactly how to play this piece then do check out the transcription on my website which is very faithful to Fahey's original recording. 
Uh, having said that, I think it's very difficult to copy exactly how Fahey does it. I, I certainly can't do it myself. There are lots of kind of grace notes and idiosyncrasies in his playing style, which are very difficult to emulate. So what I would recommend you do is just learn the, the outline of the piece and then uh, play it your own way, put your own stamp on it. So I hope you have a lot of fun learning this piece and I hope to see you for some more guitar lessons in the new year. Have a very Merry Christmas. Bye bye.